Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel, Sealed. Okay, here you can see I am searching for IIT Dhanbad MTech Admission 2023. I am clicking on this site that is MTech Admission IIT ISM Dhanbad. Okay, you can see this is the site of IIT ISM Dhanbad. Okay, I have downloaded the information brochure from this site. I will show you the important details regarding IIT ISM Dhanbad. Okay, this is the information brochure. Here you can see there are basically three category of students who can apply for MTech in IITs. Whatever be, be, may be the IIT, there are three categories. First one is candidates with grade score, and second category is IIT graduates with BTech degree. Okay, those who completed BTech in IITs, and third category is self sponsored students. Okay. With these three categories only, basically IIT is open for MTech programs. Okay. Okay. Coming to the eligibility of candidates for GATE candidates, like for those people who are applying through GATE score, they must possess bachelor degree in engineering or technology or equivalent or a master degree in science arts commerce. Okay. Basically BTech. Okay. Uh, which is recognized by UGC, AACT or government. Okay. And second point is candidates with equivalent degree and discipline of professional bodies. If you don't have B.Tech degree and if you have a equivalent degree and discipline of professional bodies, then this is also applicable to for application. Okay. Don't confuse with second point. If you have bachelor degree, it is enough. Okay. Next third point, you should have varied gate score to apply. And also, even though if you have varied gate score, you should have Minimum 60% or 6 GPA up, up to 10 points scale for OBC or unreserved candidates and also 55% or 5.5 CGPA for SCST candidates. Okay, this is also required. Like basically, people will forget about this point and they will try to apply. But remember this point also if you don't have minimum CGPA criteria, if you apply also, your application should be wasted. Okay, remember this point. And next thing is for IIT graduates, they should have CGPA at least 8 or above. Okay. Without gate score, they don't require gate score at all. Just CGPA is enough for that. Okay. If you don't have greater than 8 CGPA, you have to apply through gate score. Okay. And this is regarding self sponsored candidates. Okay. Here, coming to the OBC and EWS certificate. Okay, many of the people are asking doubts regarding this OBC and EWS category certificates. Like that OBC NCL certificate should be issued on or after April 1, 2022. Okay, please don't confuse with that. It is not 2023. It is April 1, 2022. Okay, and also EWS also it should be issued on or after April 1, 2022. Okay, for all IITs, this is the criteria they are following. And also, if you don't have that one also, okay, then you should upload undertaking. Okay, the undertaking may be provided in the information brochure. Or while uploading documents, you should come to the that under, undertaking form also. Okay, remember this point. Okay, people are asking doubts regarding this. Next, coming to the application procedure. Just say every IIT follow the same procedure. Just you have to register in the COAP portal and you will get a COAP number. With that COAP number, you have to apply for any IIT. And uh, coming to the application fee, it is 600 rupees for unreserved or EWS OBC candidates and 300 rupees for SCHT PWD women or transgender candidates. Okay. This is the important things. And also you should be care careful. You have to upload the whatever the file format and the size. And the documents file format and the size should be mentioned in this uh, document. You can see here the following documents are to be uploading during the documents uploading that should be like photograph, signature, and mark sheet. And also, like if you if your result is awaiting, waiting then whatever the semester results available up to that semester, you upload it. Okay. If you have provisional also, you can upload it. And also is there any undertaking that is available in the site? Please download it and fill it. If you, if the for, for students whose eighth semester result is pending, and also 
one certificate is a that is course completion certificate also available that is given in your college itself okay even during my ccmt procedure also when my ai semester results are pending at that time ccmt asked me to upload course completion certificate okay i got that certificate and i uploaded it in that way also you can upload course completion certificate if they provide ask okay these are the different ways you can upload ad documents and also valid gate score required and two years experience certificate mtech in mining engineering okay for a mining you should require that experience certificate also cash certificate intermediate marks sheet all these documents you have to upload during the application procedure and after that you have to pro go to the payments and you have to pay the amount for each and every course and these are all the documents which you have to produce during the reporting at institute okay these are all things okay please go through the information brochure i am just roughly explaining the whatever the important details you should require and you can see these are all the mtech programs offered by iit ism dhanbad okay please pause that video and also just see the courses whatever available and coming to the cutoffs these are the various cutoffs in the last years that is gate 2022 2023 cutoffs for iit ism dhanbad okay these cutoffs are up to the last round okay and you can pause the video and you can go through these cutoffs also and next coming to the application procedure like first you have to click on registration okay this is a registration form you have to enter your name category if you are from bw category you have to click yes if you are not then click no then mobile number email date of birth gender applicant type okay i already explained there are basically three types of applicants okay please go through it basically you apply through gate candidates only you are because you are applying through gate sco uh, scorecard itself and next thing blood group father's name these are all the details required after that submit this and you will get the login id password with that you have to click on here you can see login click on that login and you have to enter registration number and password then you proceed for payment and filling up the remaining details then fill the courses whatever you are required to apply okay and also this iit ism dhanbad application is opened from march 15 2023 and the last date to apply is april 17 2023 it is tentative and it may also extend okay this is the important thing you have to remember this is a basic procedure to apply in iit ism dhanbad okay thank you for watching this video if you like the content whatever i am sharing please hit the like button and share with your friends and many of the people are watching this video but not subscribing my channel please subscribe my channel so that it will motivate me and i will do more refined content videos for you not only coap i am going to do videos on ccmt also and updates regarding this youtube is given in the telegram channels itself that telegram channels are links are provided in the description for ccmt and coap 2023 entire content is in english only okay thank you